Gen V, episode four of season one. This show is stupid good. Hey guys, Brent here, back for Geek Variants. We cover all things Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, anime, and more, including Amazon's Gen V, the boys spinoff that has completely encapsulated tons of fans, and rightfully so. Normally, we'll have this starting next week at its regular time of appearing on Thursdays directly after the episode. We're just a little late this week because the schedules are all over the place for all three of us. So we're doing what, what we can, when we can. And I have to say, this episode was phenomenal. The detective that was absolutely in this show did a great job throughout everything throughout. I could not believe how interesting it was. Um, Just throughout seeing his character development, how he was completely in control of things, um, how powerful he was throughout with going through his line of questioning, breaking each and every character, because everyone he went up against, he defeated. The only person that he could not defeat is someone with the impervious blackmail, because that man was a Marine at heart. He saw a hole, he ran into a hole. He followed his male instincts down to an utmost T, and, well... Screwed himself. There's no other way to put it. He was 100% committed to all the wrong things at all the wrong times. And now with Sam on the loose, meeting the rest of the gang, everyone is finally brought together. Will they avenge Luke? Will they take down everybody who's standing in their way? And how involved is Vought really in all this? Is Vought to trust an entire school and university to hide everything that was going on throughout this process the way that they have? is absolutely insane to think about what kind of ramifications they had to know that there was someone who was stronger than luke was but luke was supposed to be the next homelander is rather concerning sam's powers are on an insane level so they have of course in every true fashion whenever you have a monster you cannot control you make it mentally unstable that's the only way you make a level playing field for everybody else to participate in it was like frankenstein's monster the monster was stronger than Frankenstein. So Frankenstein's monster had to be a little bit screwed loose in the head in order for any of this to play out. And now we have Jordan having a relationship with the bloodbender, which, I mean, I understand relationships spontaneously forming and people having connections at weird times, but, like, you just saw this woman bloodbend somebody's dick and now in all of its glory you decide you want to have a relationship with this person yeah i'm i'm sorry but if i just saw a girl bloodbend somebody's junk and have it spontaneously blow up dating that individual or hooking up with them is not in my top 100 things to do this episode was insane from start to finish we had a lot of great stuff come out i'm excited for next week We'll have it at a better scheduled time. Everything was just all messed up throughout the week as we got things completely taken care of on our end. But be sure to hit that lovely red subscribe button. We'll see y'all in the next one. I have been Brent for Geek Variants. Have a great night.